Last year marked 10 years since the Boeing 787 Dreamliner family entered service with Japanese carrier All Nippon Airways, or ANA. The next generation widebody is known for being one of the most modern and efficient aircraft in the long haul market. However, it manages to achieve its efficiency without the use of winglets. But why doesn't it have them? Let's start by briefly looking at the advantage of having winglets. In an industry driven by increasing efficiency and lowering operational costs, small adjustments can make a big difference over the course of an aircraft's career. For this reason, airlines want to fly the most efficient aircraft possible, and manufacturers look to enable this in several ways. Saving fuel in flight plays a key role, not just for the money it saves, but also from an environmentally conscious point of view. By flying planes with winglets, airlines can benefit from fuel savings every flight. Extrapolating these savings across their entire operational service lives, this represents a significant change for the better. As Simple Flying has explored in articles on our website, there are several different types of winglets. One of the most striking designs are shown here, which are Boeing's advanced split winglets. In any case, they all share the same function, which is to reduce drag and subsequently fuel consumption by minimizing the impact of wingtip vortices. They also play a role in generating an increasing lift. One of the Boeing 787 Dreamliner's key selling points is the fuel efficiency that its variants offer compared to older aircraft. Therefore, you might expect that winglets, or at least something like the A350's blended wingtips, which have a curved elliptical shape, would have played a key role in this. However, Boeing opted instead to fit the 787 with raked wingtips. This term refers to the triangular shape of the end of the jet's wings, as shown here. These tips have a greater sweep angle than the rest of the wing. They also have a similar effect on wingtip vortices as conventional winglets. Furthermore, they offer weight savings compared to winglets, as they don't require an additional component to be added. In fact, research by Boeing and NASA found that this design offers greater drag reduction, around 5.5%, than traditional winglets, which are between 3.5 and 4.5%. With this in mind, the 787's wings were already efficient enough without needing to burden them with the extra weight of winglets. Boeing has also used raked wingtips on other aircraft, including newer 777 family models. Interestingly, however, had Boeing produced the 7873, this design would have featured blended winglets. Designed for the Japanese domestic market, the winglets would have reduced its wingspan to 51.7 meters compared to 60.1 for the 7878. This would have enabled the 7873 to access smaller gates at regional airports. However, prospective customers Japan Airlines and ANA switched their orders from this domestic-focused Dreamliner variant to the 7878. As a result, Boeing cancelled the 7873 without ever building it. Did you know why the Boeing 787 doesn't have winglets? Have you flown on a Dreamliner yourself? Share with us your thoughts and experiences by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.